I recently had the honor and privilege to meet one of the country's most celebrated sports and holistic chiropractors, Dr. Kenneth Best. Dr. Kenneth Best is author of two books, Facing Life's Challenges and Rewriting Your Life. He's a former competitive rower and an on-site chiropractor with the national cycling team for the U.S. Olympic trials. Dr. Best is known as the celebrity chiropractor because he's much in demand by the cast and crews of television and film shows. And he's appeared on news shows such as The Doctors, Extra, KTLA 5, Fox 11, KCAL 9. Being a fitness coach, I often get inquiries on the benefits to athletes of applied kinesiology. So I put a few of the more common questions my clients ask to Dr. Best particularly on the practice of muscle testing as an accurate diagnostic tool. So now let's meet Dr. Ken Best. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be engaging in some conversation to understand what it is that Dr. Kenneth Best brings to the table. And, you know, again, thank you for your time. And it's really a pleasure. I know that you've been recognized in many different aspects of your field. And I just, I, I want to welcome you and thank you. Thank you. That was very sweet of you to say all those nice things. Um, so what would you like to know? Um, well, you know, I definitely want to. I definitely want to embrace what it is that you bring to the sports chiropractic field. I know that there's a lot of athletes out there that sometimes either are questionable as to what it is that they can they can gain from seeing a sports chiropractor if in fact they're already fit and healthy. And well, I think what most athletes don't know is there's these underlying muscle weaknesses or muscle inhibitions that cause imbalance in the body which predisposes them to injuries in the field and if you can find those problems before an injury happens then, then you take out all that lost time of, of having to recoup from an injury and what we're talking about is it's called a muscle feedback loop or it's testing the proprioceptive system of the body it's it's our balancing system and in the spine we have what's called facets and those facets uh, give more than 50% of the neural information to the cerebellum which we all know is about balancing in the, in the body and it gives us our awareness of space and time and the cerebellum which is the smallest part of the brain has more than 50% of the neural input coming into it so there's a lot of activity going on there and the misinformation that's coming in through the spine because there maybe the spine is out of alignment or stuck in different areas can um, degrade that information that's getting to the brain so the body can't do its maximum. Then we take it to another level where we're testing the individual muscles of the body. Each muscle has an organ and meridian relationship so we can sometimes find that a muscle is weak because of the acupuncture system and so I can treat that so that that heals that weak muscle. There's four other areas that we look at. There's a cerebral spinal fluid, so these are stuck cranial bones in the, in the skull that affect the cerebral spinal fluid. Um, there's the neurolymphatics, the neurovascular points, and then again it's about adjusting the spine for chiropractors. But there's so much more to that umbrella. We can also find in, in chronic injuries and stuff emotional components that are causing these weaknesses. And so you mentioned theta healing earlier. I can use theta healing to tap into the body to find out, let's say for an athlete, if, if there's some mental barrier that's stopping them from getting to the next level. If they've had chronic injuries, maybe it's, it's their, their body saying that they, they're afraid to go to that next level. Um, that being said, what I do in my practice is we basically go through a system of these manual muscle tests covering the 12 different meridians using 24 different muscle tests. Basically any muscle in your body you can test to see if there's an inhibition or a weakness of that muscle and then we can therapy localize different areas of the body to see what's causing that weakness and fix it. Dr. Ken, you know I understand that even elite athletes such as Lance Armstrong as well go and regularly check in with a sports chiropractor. Well it's funny you mentioned Lance Armstrong. Uh, Lance was actually a, a, a patient of one of my mentors who was a past president of ICAK and so I understand like his particular issues and stuff and one dealing with chronic injuries an elite athlete injuries are, are, are no stranger to them because 
they're pushing their body to the extreme all the time. And when you're pushing the body to the extreme, the body really has to be a, at a much higher level than, than anybody else normally would need for any kind of athletics. And so what we can do with applied kinesiology and even do with theta healing is go into the body, find, find these things before they can become a problem and allow them to go to that next level. And what about in response to the recovery? Well, in a lot of ways I actually specialize in shoulder injuries and knee injuries uh, that maybe the typical chiropractor might not be able to handle because let's say for example in your shoulder girdle you have 17 different muscles that are holding the shoulder onto your body and the shoulder is only connected right here at this one little joint which is like the size of my finger and this whole thing is held on by that so really you have to have all these muscles working in concert with each other otherwise you end up uh, with imbalances in the shoulder which ends up with injuries so to be more direct in answering you if you get these muscles that are turned off strengthening doing what they need to be doing then the muscles that got injured because they overcompensated for that weakness now they can rest and restore and be rehabbed much more quickly wow it's powerful definitely something that every top performance athlete would want to regularly check in with and you can't really measure how, how great that benefit is because you don't know how bad an injury could be. I mean, it could be an injury that takes you out of the game forever. You can see the value. Um, in regards to, to performance, do you see that there's a, there's a slight edge that can be gained from checking in with a sports chiropractor? Definitely you can improve performance. Um, I've been on the field at the Olympic trials before working on cyclists making sure right before the performance that certain key muscle groups are working and facilitated uh, because they're so intricately balanced that just a little out of balance, a little off proprioception can really throw off their game and or could make the difference between winning and losing. Dr. Kent, how did sport chiropractic help the brain and the nervous system to actually deliver the impulses to the brain and the body's tissues, organs, and systems? Well, when we look at the body, the way it's activated is the sensory information coming up into the brain through the spinal cord. And things that inhibit that function could be like misalignment of the spine where the joints are actually getting fixated. And those joints are what, what are giving more than 50% of the information that gets to the cerebellum. So if it's inhibited from that level, it's already we're not getting enough information that we need. And what we forget is those spinal levels are also receiving information from the organs. And so it's part of the body healing the organs and everything. The idea is in chiropractic, if we free up the nature of the spine so everything's moving, the communication is happening, the body should be able to heal itself. So it's our job as a sports chiropractor to go in and not only just align the spine and get that functioning, but also to look into the muscles. As I was telling you earlier, there's muscle spindle cells that set the resting rate of the muscles. The muscles never completely relax, and most people don't even know that. It's because that muscle has to be ready to fire when it's called upon. And if you overstretch that muscle and you've turned down that muscle spindle cell, now when you're out there in your athletics, the muscle can't respond as quickly as it should be. So that's why sometimes when we're doing the muscle test and we see that weakness right away, because they can't engage it, it's often because of those muscle spindle cells. In regards to level of balance and strength and flexibility, would you say that, I mean, we talked a little bit about the accuracy of the testing. Um, would you say that they are semi-reliable? Well, you mentioned that it definitely relies upon the person that is conducting the test. What can we do to make them more enhanced so that they can be more reliable? Well, any, any test that you do, whether it's medical orthopedic tests, it is, it is the examiner doing the test, making sure that the test is uh, in, in proper alignment and function, and there's so many factors that are involved with it. And so, really it takes a professional to do accurate testing. So it is a little more difficult at home to go and get, get the same results because there's so many variables you don't know about and that we couldn't even get into in this moment because there are so many variables. 
but really just not caring so much about the outcome, being consistent with the line of drive in the test, uh, being consistent with the amount of pressure that you're using. Those things right there can make it a much more reliable test so you can see how valuable using something like an encoder can be. Um, for me, one step of my six steps to wellness program is finding where electromagnetic frequencies are inhibiting the body and causing muscle weaknesses. And as we saw earlier, using the encoder, I could see a huge change in being able to um, facilitate the body uh, to neutralize these electromagnetic frequencies or enhance the body to where these EMFs are not downgrading the body. Now with cell phones and you know all this technology and iPads such as you used in your in your actual testing, it's it's powerful to be able to have a product such as the encoder to have that daily slight edge. Um, what type of sports uh, would you recommend a product such as the encoder to be to be used? Well, pretty much you could use the encoder in any sport. Really, it's going to have um, a tremendous result, especially if you're at that elite athlete range. But it also just for the everyday athlete, just to help prevent injuries, because it's it's oftentimes the everyday athlete who doesn't know proper form and doesn't keep proper form. So those weak muscles that might be happening in the body can be facilitated by using something like the encoder. So when the body doesn't need to compensate and get those kind of injuries. Um, but that being said, things that require a lot of balance, so like your gymnastics, your, your diving, all those kind of sports, uh, balance is really a, a key thing. Whereas let's say maybe football doesn't have so much balance, but it's really about s strength and speed. But the encoder should also be helping those people because as we saw earlier, uh, those weak muscles being basically turned back on by wearing the encoder and that can prevent injuries in that kind of sport. So. And Dr. Penn, you know, it's pretty simple to the point. How is it that you do empower your clients in the field? Well, when we look at the body, it's not just a function of physical mechanics. There is a lot of uh, emotional aspects that come up. There are issues where the brain is patterned a certain way because of the way we're brought up. And, you know, watching the Olympics now, they say how much it's so mental game sometimes that one one hundredth of a second and how they play these strategies to beat each other out. And um, there's some simple techniques that I outline in uh, Facing Life's Challenges um, that I give my clients so that if they're feeling overwhelmed or stressed they can use one particular technique. I call that the expand technique. Uh, if, if they're constantly in this mode of worrying about the past, like they just finished a race but they got another one to do, well it doesn't help them to think about how badly they did in that last race. We need to get them focused on the now and in the moment. So I have a technique called getting out of the rabbit hole that I use for them for that. So it, there really is a mental game as well as the physical game. And it's not just for athletes, it's, it's for the everyday person as well because really you can only be happy right now in this present moment and yet most of us are worried about the past and the future so we're not really living in the present moment and it's hard to be present really present a hundred percent of the time in the moment it's almost you know can be impossible but the more and more time that we can spend in the moment and redirect the way our brain is patterned we can be a lot happier and i love i love that you just touched upon that just because I constantly I go through the same in my practice, and it's it's a daily a daily struggle, so to say, to get yourself back into that frequency of this present moment. You bring such such an informative just perspective to everything that really can it just opens up everyone's ability to take in what it is that you do have to offer. And I love that you have novels as well, you know, to, to guide and to inform people to that extra extent because your vast knowledge is more than we can ever capture in this small video. So I really, I, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, folks, I trust you've learned as much as I did. Thank you for your time. This is Al Talaino saying bye for now.